Hi everybody, hope you're doing well and are ready for another workout. And really, if I reflect on the last week, I hope you've enjoyed the Olympics as well, knowing that they've just come to a conclusion. And, and I you know, spent a lot of late nights and early mornings trying to keep up on the action. And, and I certainly wasn't disappointed. I think that Team Canada performed exceptionally well and I'm very proud of every athlete that that stepped onto the field to play. It was a tough time as it's been a tough time for you in training and making certain that uh, you know you are staying up to speed with your your strength and your sport specific training and you know it, it's it's been a long year and a half and but I know that many of you have just been doing such a great job in, in keeping up with uh, with your training and I know that you've got great coaches and, and family support there as well. So um, with that all being said, I'm going to actually go back to those Summer Olympics and say that over the next four weeks, we're gonna be doing a little bit of cross training and taking advantage of those skills and, and uh, movements that we saw over the last several weeks. So some of the activities that we're going to, um, our, our sports that we're going to mimic, we're going to take advantage of volleyball, swimming, gymnastics, paddling, and uh, and what that's going to do is that's just going to help us cross train, do something a little different, but still continue to progress in what we're looking to be doing uh, when we get to the winter game. So with that all being taken care of, we are going to need some pieces of equipment this week. And the first that we'll start with is our slider combination. So we're going to need those. We're also going to be using our tubing and we are going to have it attached at ground height or ankle height. Uh, if you do not have that option, then what we'll do is you can actually have it um, also uh, anchored at about hip height if you have something that works. But um, the, the best position for this week would be on the ground. All right, so with that being taken care of, we've got our water, we've got our towel, I think we're really just about to get started. So uh, let's start with our warm up, our lunge sequence. So we're gonna go four with our forward lunge with our arms overhead, and then we're going to do the backward step with reach at the ground. All right, so why don't you join me? Nice, easy four. A little shaky here as I warm up and get started. And let's go one more. Great. Now, as I'm going through this, I'm looking for two really big stretches. So as I step forward and I'm switching legs, I'm looking for that big stretch all through my anterior or front. And then as I step back and sweep to the ground, I'm gonna get that big stretch all through my hamstrings and my lower back, all right? And that's three, and one more, and four, great. Shake that out. We're gonna go with our lateral lunges now. So what that's gonna look like is we're gonna step one way, we're gonna take our hands over the opposite way. All right, four to the left, four to the right, here we go. Now I'm a little limited by my ceiling, but if you can have your arms nice and long, that's great. And one more. Great. Other side. Last one. Great. All right. That's the second in our 3D lunge sequence. And now our last one is our rotation. So we're gonna step as if we're turning away from a counter. We're just turning to go in the opposite direction. Arms at shoulder height, and we're gonna swing those around as we step. Yeah, that's two, three, and four. Now you'll notice that I'm keeping my front foot locked to the ground. I'm not pivoting on it. Is that what this is doing is it's creating a little bit 
of torque in our hip and just giving us a little bit of stretch, all right? So we're not looking for a big long reach around and getting into our glute. We're focusing a little bit more on that anterior leg as well. Right. And let's go. One more. Great stuff. All right, shake. And we're gonna go with a staggered squat. I really like this because it puts a great deal of effort and focus on the back leg when we're squatting because we're gonna sit down on that back leg and we're gonna take that up into our calf raise or our heel lift. All right, arms out in front. So we got a nice good posture. That's one. I'm sitting down on that back leg. Two. Three. And four. Great. Switching sides. And here we go. All your weight on that back leg. One more. Great. All right, shake. And let's just do a little bit of running on the spot. The arms moving. And once we've completed this little running on the spot, we are going to have a quick break, break sorry, um, <clears throat> drink water, and then we are right to our workout. So we've got six exercises today that we're gonna be repeating, and then we'll have our cool down. All right, shake that out. Grab yourself some water. And, all right, so, for our first exercise, or sport, we are going to look at volleyball. Now, volleyball, there's a lot of quick, very snap, quick, fast-firing movements, a lot of hip twists, which we've been working on over the last few weeks, um, as well as a step and a stop. So. What we're going to do today is we're going to pretend that we are at the net, we're maybe gonna go up for a block, but then we're gonna peel back. If we think about beach volleyball, we're gonna peel back. So what that's gonna look like is we're going to do a little side twist, crossover, step, and get ready to bump. All right, again, I realize that many of you may not play volleyball, but this is still just a great little skill that we can work on for, for fast feet. And I'm going to go sideways so that you can see this. So I'm going to jump, cross over, and square up to, the, to where we were. So again, just quickly, boom, cross over, step, step. Okay, so here we go. We're going to do 10 to the left, and then we're going to come back around and do the right side in the next circuit. Okay, so here we go. So we're ready, athletic ready position. Back, that's one, okay? A little faster. Two, and then step forward. Three, jump. Four, five, and go from here. Six, seven, eight, nine and 10. Great, so if you think about it, we've got that great hip twist and then we've got our karaoke or crossover to a squat in essence. So just a great sequence of movements. And <clears throat> gonna shake. And now, if you saw a lot of the sprinters, they've got this great little high knee bounce that they do where they bounce high knee, bounce, Bounce, bounce. So we're gonna get that in for 30 seconds and we're gonna start right now. Here we go. And you can go forwards and backwards, but we're just driving that knee and a little bounce. Just 
driving that foot into the ground, yep, boom. And relax. All right, so we've gone from the beach, if you will, from beach volleyball to the track. Now we're going to the pool. And we are going to perform a little Superman flutter kick. So what we're going to do is get down onto our belly and we're gonna have our arms out in front. We're gonna engage our shoulders and our glutes. And we're gonna get everything up and we're gonna alternate on a little flutter kick for 20 seconds. So we're down, up, here we go. Left, right. Hold that up high, squeeze the glutes. And four, three, two, and one. Great, it's great shoulder activation. Good glute hamstring, lower back, that entire posterior chain, just firing. And we're going to get our sliders now. I'm gonna do a little plank sequence. So I'm gonna be down on my elbows. You can be up in your push-up position if you like. We're gonna have our feet on the slider, and then we go out to the side and back in. We've got 10 to the left, 10 to the right, and here we go. That's three, right, four, left, right, five, left, right, six, seven, eight, nine, last one, and 10. Great work. And if you'd like, you may have a, a drink. And okay, so we're leaving the pool. We are now going to visit gymnastics. So for today, we've done a lot of balance work over the last few weeks, but many, much of it has been in motion. This is gonna be a little bit more in stillness. However, we're still gonna be moving. So gonna do a little bit of a star pose. So I'm gonna be here and what's gonna happen is we're gonna lift, we're gonna balance on one leg. We're gonna lift up Get into a nice kind of star position, hold, and come back down. Now, you might feel that that's working this balance leg, which it is. You're really gonna feel that glute, upper glute, engage as we go into the tilt. So, 10 on the left leg, and we'll revisit the right on the next turn. Here we go. That's one. Mm -mm. Two, it's a much slower motion. Three. Four. Five. Mm -hmm. Six. Seven, really working that hip. Eight, nine, and last one. And 10. Oh, we, I felt that. Did you feel that in your upper glute? All right, so next, 
we're going to get to the water again, but this time we're going to row. So we're going to be seated and our knees are going to be slightly bent. We're going to start with our hands parallel if we were holding a flat bar. And as we come in, we're going to row and pull our thumbs to the sky or just turn our wrists, rotate our wrists if we will. And all the while, nice proud posture and 12. Here we go. Keep the shoulders down, elbows in. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, and twelve. Great. All right, now you've earned that water and a few minutes rest here. So I really do hope that you like that sequence. So obviously we only went one way on a few of those exercises. So with our crossover hard our beach volleyball movement, we actually went to the right every time. This time we're going to go to the left, okay? And our knee ups, they're gonna be the same. We've got our flutter kicks, gonna be the same. And then we have our <coughs> plank slider, same. It's when we get to our star pose that we're going to be working off the right side this time, okay? So I hope you've had a, a moment to grab some water, towel off if necessary. And I'm just gonna take my position on the, the far side here so that I've got my room to get into my jump and step. So again, just going to be that 90 degree hip twist, step, step, and we're squaring back up to where we started, okay? And here we go. You can run through this as quickly as you like 10 times. Here we go. And then we got that little bump motion. Seven, eight, nine, those fast movements, 10. Great work. I know I needed to focus on my footwork there a little bit as I lost, lost my, I guess my tempo, if you will. All right. And here we go, high knees, and 30 seconds. Oh, sorry, my apologies. I'm so used to looking at that high knees on my sheet. I went right into it. We've got the, the track A's, if you will. So, okay, so that's what we've got for our, our 20 seconds here. My bad. And here we go. I'm really driving the knee up and the hand up. Nice straight posture, head and shoulders are back. And three, two, and one. Great, and shaking that out. Let's grab our towels. We have our flutter kick again, or our almost pretend freestyle. And do we have a lot of talented swimmers or what? My goodness, what an incredible showing in the pool. 
And I hope you were as inspired as I was, which is why we have this exercise. So we are down, arms out again. Gonna get our chest up, head tucked, legs off the ground, and left, right, flutter, okay? Here we go, we're up and go. And we are done. And my apologies, everybody. One of my lights just went out. I hope that you can still see me. I'm actually gonna pause the video for a quick second. And, and uh, actually, I don't believe I have the opportunity to do that. So I'm gonna stop and see what I can do though. Sorry for that, folks. I just wanted to take a look and see if you could still see me. It looks like the light is still good. So I'm gonna keep going as I don't have the technical ability to pause and then head it. So I'm just gonna keep on moving along for this week. And we are now down into our plank slider. So we've got that plank position. Again, you can be up on your wrists or hands or on your elbows. I was on the hands last time. I'm gonna go to elbows this time. And we've got a left and a right. All right, and here we go. Squeeze those glutes, tuck that tummy, shoulders over elbows. I'm sure this has become much easier for everyone over the last several months. You've done so much work. And one more each side. Great. All right. That's out of the way. Now we have our star pose. So <clears throat> I did everything on my left foot the first time around. Gonna do it all on the right. And a little bounce, athletic ready position with that leg. Don't want to be locked out at the knee. I want to have a subtle bend. And I'm going to tilt to the right. And then back down. Okay, 10 of these. Here we go. That's one. Two. Mm. Three, four, five, trying to take it a little further each time, six, and a whoops, down, here we go again, seven, Eight, my apologies, shows that this is a challenge. Nine, and last one. Oh, I'm not gonna give up on this. And 10, I hope that was my best one. All right, so shaking that out, we get to our seated row. You may want to sit back a little further this time if the resistance wasn't enough or you can add another band. I've got my knees bent and feet up. Here we go, 12. That's one, two, three. My upper body's nice and still using my core to control the resistance pulling me forward. Six, seven, eight, nine, 
10, 11, and 12. Great work. Let's have a drink. All right, a little towel off, and then a little cool off. So I hope that you enjoyed that workout and are gonna have a chance to visit this again. And if you do, just fast forward through the, uh, the little intermission there and we'll get started with our cool down. So uh, nice, easy lunge. So we're gonna take our time with this. You're gonna really reach and extend our arms up as far as we can go. And then we're gonna step back and again, reach down, giving ourselves a little bit more time in this. And back. Just a nice hamstring stretch when you step back. And stepping back. Great. Switch sides. And down. And as I'm stepping into this lunge, I'm really using, I switch around here, I'm really using my toe to push off the ground and drive and extend my hip, squeezing my glute. So I get that great extension in my hip. And then I step back. Great, all right. Shaking that out, gonna go with our lateral lunge. This time with our lateral lunge, we're gonna reach across and then extend that opposite arm to the sky. All right, three of these. And stepping out, reaching and stretching back. That's one, coming back to center. And two. And three, great. And taking it to the other side, step, reach, and then extend. And when I do this, I'm sitting back on that heel, okay? And last one. Squeezing the shoulders together, extending that arm, and coming back. Great. All right. Gonna a little, do a little spinal flexion now. So that is standing straight up, curling our chin, and rounding our body. Nice, easy knees. Don't need to be locked out. Just everything's just gonna roll down. And then everything's going to slowly roll back up. Shoulders back, head up. That's one. Two more. Again, subtle bend in the knees. Rolling back up. Nice proud position. And last one. Down. Round. And rounding back up, everything coming, chest, chin, head. Great. Shake that out. Let's grab our towels. Now I'm going to slowly start introducing some new stretches as we go along, as it is a challenge to, to cover everything every week. but. We're gonna do our best to start adding some, some things. So you're gonna get down onto your side and we're gonna do a little bit of a quad stretch. And as we do this, I'm just gonna grab my ankle instead of my toe, all right? And as I get my, my butt squeeze, 
or sorry, as I do my quad stretch, I'm going to give my bum a little bit of a squeeze and that's going to help draw my hip forward, you know, as I extend and perhaps maybe you can do it on the ground, but I'll stand up so that you can see this a little easier. And so my knee is going to be in front. And as soon as I start to squeeze my glute, my bum, you can see how my knee comes back. I'm not pulling it back. I'm literally just squeezing my bum for one or two seconds and then releasing. I'm going to squeeze my bum for one, two, and relax. Squeeze bum, one, two. And obviously if you're lying on the ground, same thing, one, two, last one, one, one thousand, two, one thousand. Great, you can shake that out. And I'll join you on the ground since you know what's going on. Okay, grabbing my ankle and squeezing my bum for one, one thousand, two, one thousand. Relaxing, again, squeeze, one, one thousand, two, one thousand. Relax, one, one thousand, two, one thousand. Do you feel how that engages the stretch a little more as you squeeze that bum? One, one thousand, two, one thousand. Great, shaking that out. We're gonna come over, do a little child's pose to wrap things up and Those hands out nice and long, just sitting back onto your heels. And you walk those hands out a little further and relax. Excellent. And then just slowly come on up. And that is a wrap on another week of exercises. I hope you enjoyed our trip through the summer games as we're gonna be visiting these sports and movements uh, for the next three weeks as we get through the Paralympic games. And, um, and then it's the Special Olympic Games. It's just an incredible year of sport or 12 months, if you will, maybe even eight, if you want to really cut it down. But um, take care of yourselves, be safe, keep sweating, stay hydrated. Bye everyone, until next week.